Good morning, Arsene. Have the positive effects from the weekend been already seen in your squad in training? Well, it was a relief. Everybody was happy yesterday if just for having qualified for the final. But anything different would have been, uh, of course, have been uh, very negative in our mind. And uh, now it uh, can put that in the back of our mind and focus on, uh, on the Premiership. The job in hand is West Ham at home tomorrow night. What's your team news, please? Well, uh, I cannot give you complete team news because uh, many of them have to be checked today. But plenty of uncertainties uh, uh, for muscular problems, fatigue, and uh, as well, uh, who could uh, be uh, available uh, who was not in the squad on Saturday. Maybe Rosicky, we have to test him today. Maybe uh, Kosien, you have to test him definitely today. So, but plenty of uncertainties. I have to make up my mind uh, later on. Who are the main uncertainties? Main uncertainties are uh, Montreal, who had to come off. Uh, Podolski had a little problem, <coughs> but I think he will be all right. Uh, then uh, Chamberlain, because he was not even supposed to play on Saturday. Uh, Ramsey, who had, of course, his first uh, had to come off for muscle tightness. And uh, they are the main problems. What's the injuries to those? What's the injury to Montreal and Chamberlain? Uh, uh, big bruise for Montreal. Chamberlain is tightness uh, that he had uh, in his uh, groins before the game already. Uh, and a possible big boost with Koscielny coming back. He's been out for a long time. Yeah, Koscielny will be tested today. And uh, we have to decide. I have to decide after training today, do I take the risk or not uh, to, to start him tomorrow. Um, and just finally um, from me, important to turn, around, turn it round uh, in mental terms and concentration because one job is done, you're in the FA Cup final and now there's a big job to do in the Premier League. It is, yes. Uh, I feel we played many, many games this season, you know, in many different competitions and many tough games. And uh, But you've put a lot of effort in the Premiership and uh, we want to finish strong now and uh, we have the opportunity uh, to start tomorrow with a big game because it's a derby, West Ham is in a comfortable position and uh, that means they can play with, uh, without fear. So we know that uh, in this kind of games it's uh, very important that uh, we have a good focus and a good tempo in our game and uh, that uh, we focus now on the Premiership. Also, first of all, congratulations on reaching the FA Cup final. Um, I'm sure you know it, it, it was a month without winning a game. Do you see that tie game <coughs> in the end, the right result on Saturday as a turning point for you for the rest of the season? Look, uh, it was a. Uh, it is an important game because when you're in the semi-final and you do, you you win, uh, it is of course an important game. It uh, releases a bit the, the pressure of the team on that front, but. Uh, we want to bounce back in the Premiership, and we know that uh, one of the main targets, the main target, is the Premiership, and uh, therefore we want to finish uh, strong. We have a battle uh, with Everton, and of course uh, it's now down to consistency in our final games. Before I talk about the, the Premier League challenge, Stan Kroenke came into the dressing room uh, at Wembley. Any any clues what what you said to the players or yourself? No, because at the time I was. Uh, <laughs> with the press, with you. <laughs> <laughs> but he's clearly as pleased as all the other fans about reaching the final. Look, uh, Stan Kroenke wants to win, like every fan wants to win, and uh, and uh, so when you win, he's happy. Um, do you have the easier running out of the two between between you and Everton? Uh, you've never failed to to take off into the Champions League in a full season. How much of a blow would it be if you did, did fail this time? Look, uh, we want to achieve it, and that's uh, simple. Uh, and uh, we just want to not imagine the consequences of not doing it. What you want is uh, just focus on doing it. And uh, that's where I think we have a focus, we have a quality of the spirit. 
we have a desire and uh, we have slowly uh, we are slowly getting our players back and so the squad is much more is not depleted anymore it's much stronger I think in the next weeks than it was uh, two or three weeks ago do you need to win every game it is the target uh, do you need it? Nobody knows. But it, the target is, of course, to win every game. Who do you think will win the title, Arsenal? I don't know more than you about that because uh, <coughs> uh, Liverpool had an important win yesterday, <coughs> and uh, but uh, I believe that uh, the experience we have of a Premier League this <coughs> season it shows you that it's really unpredictable for everybody. Can I just ask you a final point? It occurs to me that Everton's final game of the season will be against Hull, who will have a big game the following week. What would you say to, to, to Hull about, about the approach to that game? Nothing. You know, uh, Premier League is a Premier League. If uh, you want the Premier League to be respected, you just uh, have... Uh, at the moment, everybody in the world watches the Premier League because they know that everybody gives 100% in every single game. We just want to continue to do that for everybody. Awesome. Arsene, have you got a message for the fans ahead of this game? Because at this point in the season, they can really play a part, can't they? Look, our fans uh, were fantastic on Saturday, even when it was bad. And uh, uh, so you want them to be behind the team, because uh, uh, I'm sure they will. And uh, we can uh, finish well the season, because we have a uh, finish in the top four, we can uh, win the FA Cup, so it's down to how united we'll be until the end of the season and focus together. Um, the celebrations after the semi-final win, Arsenal, were you pleased to see your team celebrate like that? Was that, was that telling of the pressure they were under? Yes. Uh, you want, uh, when you're one nil down, you know Wigan, uh, let's, let's, let's not forget that Wigan was won the Cup last year. But they went to the semi-final this year, they knocked three Premier League teams out. And uh, we were one nil down uh, with 10 minutes to go. So of course, it's, uh, uh, everybody was happy because uh, we know how difficult it is to turn these games around. And the performance, was that enough, the performance, to give you confidence ahead of West Ham? Look, the performance uh, mentally and uh, uh, determination I think we were there. We know that on the football front we can do much better and uh, that will be the target until the end of the season. And, and Everton are in a strong position, so what makes you think that you can overtake them? The quality of our performances, the quality of our uh, spirit and our focus, uh, it's down to consistency and uh, uh, we have just to focus on our results and see where we finish. Okay, James. So Everton has obviously performed very well recently, but is it is it a different pressure now they're ahead for them, different pressure leading to Chelsea? I don't know. Uh, I believe that uh, they have difficult games, we have difficult games. We just can... Uh, we want to focus now on what we know we can do. Is uh, We have a more complete squad and want to win our games. Uh, no matter what Everton does, we want to finish in a strong way. The fact that you have finished in a strong way the last few seasons and, and finished fourth, does that count, that experience count? Could it be the difference? It counts, yes, of course. Could it be the difference, you think, between the two? No, the difference would be the quality on, of what you produce on the pitch, and that is down to desire to uh, be faithful to our game. We want to play and uh, get everybody back uh, into the squad. Can I just ask if there's any update on Jack Wilshere? Look, uh, Jack Wilshire should start to jog this week. It's all going well, but uh, we have to monitor him now, uh, day up, day by day. Is the return date still the same for him early May? Look, uh, I think uh, the next three weeks will be very important for him. So do you think it's still likely that he can play again this season? Yes. Monreal was dead, dead leg. Yeah. Is it nothing? Nothing more serious. Because it looked quite. Small. And Podolski, what's his injury problem? He had a dislocated finger and a little muscle problem, but uh, uh, I think the muscle problem was very minor. But uh, he had a dislocated finger that you had to put back. 
Podolski, he's, he, he's a, a player who you often substitute. He doesn't seem to be very happy about being a player who substitutes. But is, is it good in a way that you have a player like that who, who shows his, who's frustrated when he can't you know, carry on? Yes, game? of course. Uh, I've never seen Meta play in my life who's happy when he substituted. With them, um, how would you rate um, Olivier Giroud's um, performance in these last last few months? He, he seemed to make a, a difference when he when he came on, didn't he, against um, Arsenal? But he's not probably been at the. Uh, level. He has a fantastic spirit, uh, fantastic team player. Olivier Giroud has gone uh, for a more, little bit uh, period, a bit more difficult, but uh, that happens to any striker, you know. Uh, uh, strike is the most demanding position, and uh, he has played many, many games, more play games than any other striker in the Premier League, and uh, that, of course, uh, is very demanding. Does he still remain central to your plans for next season? Are you looking to, to bring a bit of support? Yes, for him, yes, right? of course. But does he need a bit more more support? You feel because look, uh, needs a bit you, you, you cannot say that uh, Podolski is a striker. You know, uh, and he's not a defender. Walcott is a striker. Uh, Ozil is for me uh, is a half a striker, and uh, Casola is an offensive player. Rosicky is an offensive player. So we have usually plenty of support for our strikers. And don't forget Sanogo as well. Sanogo. Sanogo, yes, but uh, <coughs> they do not always play together. Giroud and Sanogo. Thank you. I'm Arsenal player that's given you some problems over the years, Andy Carroll. Is, is he a player that you've got to take extra care with tomorrow night? Yes, because he's a player, once the ball is up there, uh, you do not find many people who can compete with him and win the challenge. So uh, what is important is that we stop the, the balls to go to him. Is there any other player like him in England? Of that quality uh, in the air, it's not me, I don't think so. And if, if he stays fit, do you think he deserves to go to the World Cup? I leave that to Roy Hodgson. <laughs>